Iran's fast news agency says that explosions have been heard near the airport at the country's central Isfahan city. But the reason is unknown at the moment. Several Iranian nuclear sites are located in Isfahan province, including Natanz, the centerpiece of Iran's uranium enrichment program. On Thursday, a senior Iranian Revolutionary Guards commander said Iran could review its nuclear doctrine following Israeli threats. The remarks raised concerns about Tehran's nuclear program, which it has always said was strictly for peaceful purposes. Now, amid spiraling tensions, Ahmad Haqtalab, the guards commander in charge of nuclear security, hit out at Tel Aviv. He said, and I'm quoting here, if the Zionist regime wants to take action against our nuclear centers and facilities, we will reciprocate with advanced missiles against their own nuclear sites. Addressing officials from the Mossad and Shin Bet intelligence units on Thursday, Netanyahu stressed the need and importance of determination and unity. He said his country was committed to defeating the terrorist axis in Gaza, freeing the hostages and repelling the overall threat coming from Iran. Meanwhile, Defense Minister Yoav Galan said Israel has freedom of action to do what it wants. And for more on this, we are now being joined by uh, Weon's principal diplomatic correspondent, Siddharth Sibyl, on, on the broadcast. And this is a news alert coming in right now. According to Fast News Agency, explosions have been heard near the Isfaha city in Iran. It's extremely crucial because it also includes Natanz, which is the centerpiece of Iran's uranium enrichment program. Well, just on Thursday, a senior Iranian Revolutionary Guards commander said that Iran could review its nuclear doctrine following Israeli threats. And the remarks raised concerns about Tehran's nuclear program, which it has always said was strictly for peaceful purposes. And for more on this, Vyond's principal diplomatic correspondent, Siddharth Sibyl, is now joining us on the phone line on the broadcast. Hi, Siddharth. According to reports, explosions have been heard near Iran's central Isfahan city. Several Iranian nuclear sites are located here. Talk to us about the level of alert in Iran amid concerns that Israel would retaliate. Also, we spoke to the Iranian ambassador just yesterday on the Iran stance and response preparations. Tell us more. Well, essentially, the situation remains quite uh, precarious. Uh, we are still awaiting details as to exactly what has happened because so far there hasn't been any uh, uh, response uh, by the Iranian government confirming such major strikes. But from uh, the data, uh, from uh, the data showing that there are no uh, planes now uh, flying over cities like Tehran, uh, there are, of course, uh, concerns. Uh, there are reports of. Uh, the media as well, uh, the Iranian media, uh, confirming such explosions. Uh, but overall, uh, we know that uh, as of now, the focus uh, will be of uh, how there can be a de-escalation. Essentially, uh, we know that when it comes to the uh, Iranian ambassador's remark, uh, he said that uh, he will focus on de-escalation of the situation. Right, Sadhan, there is... a. Uh... There is no damage to the Iranian nuclear facilities, according to reports. But thanks very much uh, for joining us here on the broadcast. We'll, of course, be tracking this very closely with you.